That's Tiger's. Huh? Kamikaze. Kamikaze's right here. You see those? Above the rim. Kamikaze's on deck. Amen. Above the rim. Above the rims, we got. We don't, we don't, yeah, we haven't talked about that one yet. That's that's there. Above the rim. Above the rim. Not about the above the rim. So I mean, look like we pretty much in shape. The rain man. The rain man's. We got. We know the rain man's. Yeah, that's actually the first shot count. So right for the kamikaze. Oh, that, that's those in the other room already, right? That's the one with the green in it, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. those in the room. Yep. So it looked like we got the retro business up and running. We gotta put the uh, we gotta put one 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 pair in there. Everybody said anything. So I'm gonna start with Ross and let him tell you guys on his experience and what he has to come with the brand and our collaboration and then, and then we just take it down the line and then we get a group photo together and let everybody enjoy their evening and come party with us. A lot a lot a lot a lot of fun tonight. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> well, you know, um, uh, you know, for the last year or two, you know, I've, been, I've most definitely been watching what Swiss Beats been doing with the brand, and you know, uh, it eventually spilled over into you know Reebok music, and Reebok just basically reached out and you know um, embraced it, our movement, embraced the movement. You know what I'm saying? Came together, help us put a few visuals together, a few videos together. And the way I looked at it was just really Reebok investing into our culture. Reebok investing into our future. And this was before we was, you know, we were biggest partners. This was just organic. And I was just saluting what Swiss was doing, just the entire movement. Of course, we up here, these are young legends. You know what I'm saying? And um, just the history spoke for itself, really. You know, if you're really into sneakers like we all are, you know, they spoke for, you know, everything they brought to the table spoke for themselves. And once it spilled over to, you know, my passion, which is, of course, was music, it only, it felt organic, you know what I'm saying? It only felt right. And, you know, um, it's one of the better moves that I've made, you know what I mean, in the last few months that I'm most excited about. I'm here. Um, I'm most definitely comfortable in this arena. But now I'm rocking with the number one brand, Reebok. Mm. We back. You see me repping a young legend. Like a boss supposed to run about that. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Let them know what you got coming too. So, sorry, oh, you already know, man. We most definitely cooking up. You know what I'm saying? We cooking up on. I'm designing. You know, one of my sneakers. I'm gonna let one of y'all name it. Yeah. What you say, Rose? Great. It's the Rose. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, we most definitely, man. Um, they just just let me express myself and be an artist from designing and creating a big and tall clothing line for big guys yes. as well as, um, yes. you know, creating a sneaker. I think which is great, you know what I'm saying? And we should inspire the next generation of artists as well. And so I salute Reebok and I'm happy to be here. Blessings, we salute you too, MMG. Yes, sir. Tiger, talk to me, man. Man, you know, a lot of the same stuff Ross was saying, I agree to that because I feel like being one of the younger artists and uh, for my generation, being one of the lead trendsetters, I feel like from doing the snapbacks to, like you said, the retro stuff, bringing the gold back. And I feel like Reebok really supports that um, that culture. You know what I'm saying? They really care about the streets, and that's really what it's about right now. You know what I'm saying? If you don't got the streets, you don't got the fans, and you don't got the people. You know? So I feel like I'm excited to be a part of the whole you know, Reebok retro thing, man. And it's, it's, it's going to be dope. I'm glad to have you. you know, Tiger's one of the freshest, you know, up and coming artists that's doing right. his thing right now. This guy right here, you know. <laughs> Ball yeah, mates. from his sneakers to his jewels, I gotta commend my little homie, you know what I'm saying? He doing it like to be comfortable, man. Yeah, he's doing his numbers, he's doing his numbers. But for me, Reebok is a, is a family, it's a home. You know, I come from starting, my, my first label was Kid Robot. And then I took a time out, and then I, I worked with Christian Louboutin. And, you know, successfully we have the men's line now. And then, you know, I said I wanted to work with a team that I could touch the culture a little bit more. And um, everybody's like, why are you going with Reebok? Why don't you go with X, Y, and Z? Why would you do Reebok? Like, they're, they're, they're not popping right now. I thought it was a great opportunity that they wasn't popping at that point because I'm a builder. And when you're a builder, you know, you know how to take structures and refurbish them, you know, to something that's monstrous, monumental. You know, I like to take the risk. It's easy for people to just jump in a car and the bins that's already done, but 
let's take something that like that that's a, that's an old school and power and, yeah. and make it look pretty and, yeah. and, and and then put that on the streets and, and, and customization. Yeah, 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 you know, let's let's do that. And then um, I started off very small in the brand and with hard work and dedication, you know, I'm pretty decent where I sit now. You know, they also gave me the, you know, the go-ahead to embrace brothers like Ross, brothers like Tiger that another brand would be scared of, but then they express themselves. They want to be a part of the culture, but don't want to be a part of the culture. You know, so I, I started noticing that, and I also started noticing that those other brands are not really even supporting the culture. You can't even get no money for your video. They, you know, they just want to send you a bunch of sneakers, but don't want to really invest in the culture. So when I seen Reebok investing in the culture, whether it's yes. on scene, yeah, on scene or off scene, I was like, you know what? This is the brand that people need to be introduced to because they're really about the streets, you know. And um, I'm just happy that they let me do what I need to do. We got Keith Heron over there. We got Basquiat over there. You know, we got a couple of new artists coming out. We got AI right here. Yeah. We got Dominique right here. I mean, this is an all-star team, and I guarantee you this time next year, it's gonna be a bigger room, it's gonna be more cameras, it's gonna be more excitement, but we're gonna just continue graduating the brand and I thank everybody for coming out here tonight and even supporting the brand. I see you with your custom, I see you, I see you, see? She even got her custom Reebok, that's how close we are. Yeah. Right? So Swiss, one question that a lot of media have asked that I just wanted AI and Nick uh, to answer was, AI, the question, your rookie year, like what's your favorite moment of your rookie year? And I was then, going to get to that. And then, Nick, what's your favorite moment wearing pump? <laughs> what you mean, far as my shoe? Like just, what was your favorite moment wearing the question? Rookie year. Oh, man. Crossover. 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 Nah, I mean, shit, honestly, just putting them on for the first time and, and stepping on the court. Knowing that I had my own shoe. Like I said before, you know, I was a shoe fanatic and, you know, always dreamed of playing on a professional level. But then, you know, to, to add icing to the cake, to be able to have your own signature shoe, you know what I mean? It, it meant something like, you know, these are mine, you know what I mean? And, and you know, knowing that people that grow with me and, and that are my fans, you know, would support me and rock my joints. So, you know, that was my best moment, man. Just, just putting them on, man. Just, I, I would always look forward to just having them on and walking out there and in different styles and different colors. I know I drove you crazy <laughs> with um, wanting a different color every every game. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was that was it, man. Just, just having my own shoe, man. I was just a dream come true. It was a blessing. Definitely, man. Yeah. I, I think for me, uh, the most important time for me to Reebok is over 23 years ago, when nobody really even knew about Reebok. I never, never really heard that much about it until the pump shoe came out. And like AI said, it was just a pleasure for me to wear that shoe to help lift the brand of Reebok. And Reebok has been in the community a long time ago. I remember years ago, over 20 some years ago, where they refurbished my old playgrounds in Baltimore, Maryland. So they've been a part of the landscape for a very long time. And for me to wear that pump shoe and to win the slam dunk contest, to win the scoring title, the AI know about that. You know, and the points himself. <laughs> so it, that was a pleasure for us. I mean, to wear something that's yours, to be a part of, we feel like we're lifeless here. You know, we, we're never going to wear anything else but Reebok.